Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach, and this is the question I got asked. What are the disadvantages of Google Forms? And I'm gonna give you some uh, ideas to consider, some issues that Google Forms don't do, and I'm gonna share that in this video. Google Forms is really pretty cool. It does pretty much all that I expect it to do with my form needs. But if you go do a quick Google search, you're gonna find there's all kinds of form applications out there. Typeform is a big one, Jotform is a big one, MailChimp, we have Zoho Forms, we have Cognito Forms, Formstack, we have Woohoo, we have a SurveyMonkey, HubSpot, and the other one I found was Go Canvas, and those are just the few that I found, and I know there's lots of other ones. Most of these are pretty big form companies. That being said, Google Forms is still very useful. Now, I wrote down, I did the, did the research, and I wrote down six things that Google Forms cannot do that may be a disadvantage and may require you to use another form, to, form tool. Number one, it won't accept payments. There's no option for me to accept payments. There, you know, I have questions, a date and time, and other fields here, but there's no give me money option here. Okay. Number two, integrate into anything other than Google Sheets. There's nothing built into Google Forms for you to be able to send data to any other application besides either in the form, you can capture the, the responses in the form, or you can capture them in a Google spreadsheet, and this right here, and then you can download the responses as CSV, comma separated values, but there's no way to push the answers or the data you collect through Google Forms into anything other than a Google spreadsheet or a comma separated values file. However, there are other tools that you can use to grab that data out of a Google spreadsheet and move that into other applications. If then, if this, then that is one of the opportunities. Number three, you can't take this data and automatically dump it out as a PDF. Again, it only goes into a Google spreadsheet. Number four, there's no signature capture. I mean, I would love, everything would be pretty cool to have a signature capture in here, but there is no way to capture a signature. Maybe you can capture an image, but there is no way to actually capture just a signature. There's no GPS capture. I don't know where this form is being filled out. Now, I do know the date and time that gets recorded with every uh, record that gets captured, but no GPS information. And the last one I found uh, that some of these other apps have is there's no bar, barcode scanning. You can't use a device and scan a barcode and have that go into your Google form. So those are six of things. I'm sure there are others uh, that, uh, that could be important to other people but those are six things that Google Forms will not capture. That said, Google Forms is still a powerful Google, uh, form collecting tool. I can ask all kinds of different questions, paragraphs, short answer, multiple choice, checkbox, drop down. I can have them upload a file that goes into Google Drive. I can have a linear scale, a multiple choice grid, a checkbox grid. I, again, I, I, can count, I can ask for a date and I can ask for a time as well. I can have it go uh, import questions. I have questions somewhere else. I can import those into this Google form. I can add title and description. I can put an image on top. I can add a video on top and I can add sections. And the cool thing about sections, if I add a section, then I can have conditionals that say, go to section one or go to section two, um, automatically based on questions, I can have that automatically go to sections based on the answers. So some really basic uh, form functionality built into Google Forms, and it's definitely worth considering because A, it comes with your Google account and your Google Drive, Google Forms. Um, B, it could be free if you're used to using Gmail, and it's pretty easy to set up. But I know there are lots of features that other form tools have that Google Forms won't have. And we have to make decisions what's important and we need to use the right tool to achieve our goals. I'm Teddy Burris, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. 
go experiment with Google Forms. I think you'll find it to be very useful.